today we're gonna do a two-day inspection on an aircraft aircraft it's an MBA 170 here we're checking the brakes make sure that the pins are good should be around 6 to 7 30 seconds that's perfect here we're looking for cord any signs of wear and tear on the actual tire over the uh, fuselage we're just checking for any signs of damage any any cracks any dents anything that's extremely obvious to the eye we're just checking for those clear signs uh, here is the right hand side of the plane same thing we're checking brakes make sure your pins are all the way out if they're about six to seven thirty seconds you're good same thing for the tires make sure that there's no damage nothing like that here i forgot to bring a tire gauge uh, but the levels the psi on this tire should be around 142 plus or minus 10 psi these i went back and checked them they were 145 which is perfect so there's no issues there here again just going over the fuselage looking for signs of damage on the skin that's it over here we're gonna go to the fan blades of the actual engine here on the blades we're just checking that they have there's no nicks no dents making sure everything looks good these blades spin at a very high speed so we want to make sure there's no type of damage no kinks no nicks nothing no cracks because that can be very very bad now to the uh, front of the aircraft same thing we're looking for the nose tires any signs of damage here we're driving to the plane uh just going over basic stuff here we just got to our second aircraft we're gonna show you how we check the oils on the plane here Here I broke my pen and this is one of the most important tools you need in your aviation career. I can guarantee you that. Here we're entering the cockpit. We're going to just check on the displays, the levels of the oil. Here we're turning on your battery one and your battery two. Once you get any warning messages, there's some flashing lights, yellow and red. Uh, that's how you know that your displays are on and then you can either turn on uh, exterior power or your APU. Here is your log can. This is where you keep all your maintenance records. Everything that happens in the plane goes in there. Here we're checking the oils. Uh, here it says that they're displayed at 9.7 and 9.7. And they're pretty good, but we like to top them off since the plane is gonna fly. It's down for about six hours. Here we're gonna put one quart on number one engine and one quart on number two engine. Top it up to 10.7 is around that. Awesome. So now that we've seen how much uh, quarts of oil each engine has to take, we're going to go ahead and pour those in. Here I'm opening the cans of oil with the flathead. There's can openers, but this is what I saw in my tool bag, and that's the first thing I grabbed. It works for me. It's no biggie. You can use a can opener, no problem whatsoever. After this, we're just going to open up that oil cover. It has four screws with a uh, you have to use a bit which is famously known as a Nazi bit everyone hates them they strip out extremely easily and yes they do look like a swastika that's why they are commonly known as Nazi bits they tend to fall off of this on this cover just make sure you grab them and if they do fall uh, make sure you catch them if you lose them make sure to replace them uh, they are here you're just gonna open up once you open up that oil cover you're gonna take off the oil cap and very simple very easy you just pour that cord no oil onto the engine once you fill up that engine you're gonna go ahead and close up that oil cap make sure it's secure and then re-secure that oil cover with those four screws uh, once you do that that's it that's your two day nothing crazy just regular checks on an aircraft this is it let me know what videos you guys want to see next any inspections any component replacements or a day-to-day -day of what an aircraft mechanic does let me know in the comments hope you, you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys on the next one